Okay, the game is giving me a hard time when I try to stream it live. So I guess I will do some offline videos for now. And when I figure it out, what's going on, then I will do it live. Well, it doesn't matter much anyway, because no one is watching it live, obviously, so there is no difference. I did a short stream for like 17 minutes, we just started in Kurast, we really get nothing. No quest done, so I restarted and started recording an offline video. And that's what we are going to do for now. And I had to reconnect before I was on a better server now. I'm on. European stuck in Australia, so yeah, this is not going to be great. Plus one to amplify damage, plus two to weaken. Not a very rolled base for an Dolio. Oh, a small charm. A charm. Funny guys, those fetish midgets. They are demons, actually. I think they are like tribal people possessed, possessed by demons or something like that. They look too humanoid for your regular demon. Well, at least to me. So now we are looking for a place called Spider Cavern, where our first part of our quest item is located. Should be Kalim's eye. Well, eye, brain, or heart. I'm not sure which. It should be somewhere over here. Spider cover. That is the place. Don't mistake it for a arachnid layer. It looks the same inside, but there is no Quest item in the Arachnid lair. Yeah, it's Kalim's eye. So no brain. Oh, 
Where is the music? Helm, maybe, maybe useful. Oh, not really. What is this place? Oh there is the arachnid lair. That is not what we are looking for. But we can get the waypoint here. You can move around the minimap with your arrow keys uh, but I'm not sure where to go well maybe maybe here or or we have to go all the way back that is the part I hate about the marshes or jungle or whatever it is I can't navigate. I always fail at navigating through the jungle. That's how I play the game. Getting lost in some stupid forest. Antlers and a wool hat. Was to Raven. That is nothing for us. This is all white. Nineteen to life. It's quite good for now, actually. Poison resist plus three. Seven to life, that is also good. I like those little life charms. This should be the right way to go.
Don't, don't go for the light! Don't go, don't go for the light! These are some of the most hated monsters for me. Lightning enchanted. Let's not get close to him. We have a lot of potions right now. I'm stuck. Fully stacked on it. On them. <coughs> Plus three to strength. Don't need that. Elemental, whatever. I don't need that much, that much damage reduction or whatnot in normal. I have the cyclone armor that works against the. Elemental damage. Well, poison can obviously just face roll me or you know, poison me. But I don't care. Like lightning or so. Rowler rune that is a nice one. A very useful rune <coughs> for some cheap rune wards. Okay, one more point goes into Fisher. Bingo. I should be picking up those blue rings. Blue rings can be useful sometimes. What I like. like to run through the game a little bit faster I mean it's not hardcore and we'll get our hands on some good stuff later for sure And this build I'm planning to do, I think it will work with the really cheap items too. Flare jungle. Here we are. Yeah, the 
Great Marsh, that is the one I always get lost in this place. Okay. Now we should get the Gidbin weapon. Somewhere over here, perhaps? Or is this... Not it? No, oh, this is not it, I think. This is just a... Just nothing, well... Waste of time. Off. Wow, they are really fast. But they burn very well. Oh. Let's get rid of these minor mana potions, they don't do anything for us. And we are not really running out of mana anyway. The mana on kill is very useful here. We are killing, we are getting mana back. This should be it, right? Or is, a, is it a swamp pit? It's a swamp pit. And nothing more? It looks like there's nothing more to it. Just dropped a large charm. Once you get to know the game well enough, then you can tell what kind of item dropped just from the sound effect of the item dropping on the ground. It is a very nice little detail. Yeah, this is the place. There's the flare dungeon, and there should also be the. Yeah, this is the good bin. Now there is a boss that will spawn, or a mini boss, with a unique, let's say, quest item. Oh, there it is, right here. The good bin. It is a dagger, but. We cannot really equip it. Well, we can actually. I don't remember that being a thing. Oh. Well, 
That's good. Two armors. He knows what to do with it. And he will give us a rare ring, I think. Yes, there is it right here. Plus 5 to mana, poison resist, half raise rate. Well, not a great drink, but it is better than this one, I would say. Let's identify charms. Greetings. Yes. Now we can sell the rings. I'm gonna keep this one charm. Well, the thing is, I shouldn't be keeping those charms. Well, poison resist is good for us, obviously, because the cyclone armor, the armor doesn't work on poison, so poison resist is actually somewhat useful but poison can never kill you basically just going to lower your HP to one I hate this dungeon Well, in general, I don't like close spaces. Not the diamond claustrophobic or anything, but most of the time it's dangerous. In Diablo, that is. Yeah, the Firestorm works quite well for indoors. Oh, and we are in level 3 already. There is a mini boss. It can spawn either in one of the four corners or he can spawn right in the center of the map. But I think this is the case where he spawns in one of the four corners. And there's the chest with the quest item too. Oh, somewhere. Or maybe the chest is actually in the, in the center. Yeah, it is right in the center. I was wrong about it. Yeah, the boss should be actually fire immune, so we cannot kill him. We'll just keep him. But you can kill him twice actually, so he'll give you double the, double the drops. But he cannot drop anything useful at this point, I think. Kalim's brain, it's rune. And now we can get back to the waypoint. And be on our way to lower Kurast. Lower Kurast, 
a place I'm planning to run a lot in hell. Maybe you will see why eventually. Well, if you don't know the game, and if you know the game, then you will. You already probably know why. I don't know if the druid is the greatest for it. I think it's not <laughs> actually very good class for lower Kurast runs, but still it's it's doable or it should be doable. Yeah, when I'm in exteriors, Fisher is much better than the Firestorm. It one shots. So where is the Kurast city? The temple city? Storm tree is super unique. He's, he will be always here waiting for you. Plus one to two cold damage. That is not good for us. This roll, the crappy roll, it's not even good for sale. Chain boots? No, maybe. Master hit recovery, poison resist. Better chance of getting magic items? No. I guess it's better than no boots. That's start giving some points into our strength now this place is divided into four sections first one is this a lower kurast it has a waypoint too And it is a place that spawns uh, super chests that can give you some nice loot. Will that be used in hell difficulty to get maybe some runes? Right here. I think this is the one super chest. Well, maybe not in normal, I'm not sure. And this should be the other one. Oh, this was the one. It dropped a lot of stuff, so. can see it. it was a super chest this was just some random stash 
It's not worth it doing it in normal. We are very slow when it comes to movement speed. are in the second part which is called Gurast Bazaar and there are there are two locations of interest or quest location and I want to get a waypoint here first this is the sewers. You will have to go there. Yeah, but let's get this waypoint first. Now, now we can go to sewers. And the sewers entrance should be also in the other parts of the Kurast, not just in the Kurast Bazaar, but also in the other parts. Oh, and we were very lucky because there is the transit already to the second level. Level. And that is the place we are going to. You need to click on the lever, and it will open the way to the level two. Which contains this quest item called Kalim's Heart. So you need that to advance. Okay, now we can use the waypoint. To go back to Kurast, or Kurast Bazaar, I should say. And now there should be a place called Ruined Temple. Now you can see it on the minimap, it's right here. And it always looks the same way on the minimap. This entrance. It's always facing the same way. Oh! They were waiting for me. This nice place to farm actually. The yellow bike.
That is super unique for Battlemates Arena. She already died, but well, she is not very strong anyway. We should have no problems with her. That's useless. Cost two four fire resist. I don't think so. We have fire absorb. And we are looking for this little altar with the tome. And you can click it. Then the book falls down from it. And once it's on the ground you can pick it up. And that is the quest item you were looking for. <coughs> Once you get the book and the, the brain from the sewers, you can just move on. Or was it hurt? I don't know. Next part of Kurast is called Upper Kurast. It's nothing spectacular. More of the same. There is the entrance into the sewers. And you can just move right through it. Into this bridge, it should be Kurast Causeway. If I remember correctly, yes, it's the Kurast Causeway, it's just this little bridge area, but it has the Well, never mind. I thought there were the temples. I was wrong. We just move right through. And once you are on this little crossroads, then you can go left. And there is your waypoint. This area is always the same. And now we can go to town and finish these secondary quests. You have that. Well. So speak to Meshi and he will change the jade figurine for golden bird. Now you have to talk to Pick up Kane and he will send you to Alcor. And Alcor will make a potion for you. Right here. So you right click it and bam! You have 20 more life. And as you can see, the book is also gone. The Alcor exchanged the book for five more start points. That is also nice. And first and fourth quest is done. 
can I now even talk to Ashira? She will give you mercenary for free, I think. If you don't already have one. Hello there. Now that you well, that's not true. But the quest is not complete. And you can be on your way into to the Travinko. Or to the place where you fight fight the High Council. It is right here in the center. And these are three guys. This is a new monster type never seen before. And they are quite good actually. But it's nothing we can't do. Oh, and we got some unique, two uniques actually. One of them is called Calypso Play, and it is. A Quest item and it works similar to the stuff from previous act. So you just put it in the cube and hit transfuse flail and the three organs. It will turn into Kalim's will. Then you equip that. And hit the compelling orb with it. It will get destroyed in the process, but in exchange it will open the way to your final boss, who is in level 3 of this place. And we get blood rise. Nothing. Really useful. Nothing to ride home about. I will just leave it on the ground. Woo woo woo! There is a lot of them. And that gave us a lot of XP. There's the level 2. Well, if I'm not mistaken, there should be a waypoint on level 2. But I don't need that in normal difficulty. Oh, well, we get it. If it wasn't right here, I wouldn't bother with it. You don't farm monsters in normal, well, for items, I mean. You only farm monsters for experience in normal difficulty. Most of the time, there are some exceptions. Oh, and there is the endurance of head level 3. Let's create a town portal in here, and there are some. Or some. I think there are three other guys who are members of High Council as well, so. There's one. Brem Spark Beast. Oh, and we get some other nasty. Unique. Bow spec. Oh, and we got a unique bardage. That is just garbage. So I won't even bother with that. 
Oh, I will show it to you. I think it's called Bomb Bomb Hue. No, it's Demoax Demoax Hue. It's just very fast, and that's all. There is the other guy. Oh, I got his name. And the last council member is on the other side, so he should be right here. Wine Void Bringer. So, I'm there. Right here. Should be the last boss of this stupid act. Oh, 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 and he just almost one shot hit us. He's quite dangerous. You don't want him to hit you. But if you run around a lot, you can avoid most most of his projectiles. What do we get here? Wolch? Steel Goat, Deadly Strike, that is a double damage basically, so 30% chance for double damage, it causes monster to flee, that is even annoying sometimes, maximum durability, well, it's useless. The Yellow Ring, Spirit Mask, that can be good. Wolf head could be also nice. Nice drops actually. Rondage we cannot use. Mephisto Soul Stone, that is a quest item. Well you don't have to even pick it up. You will get another one if you forget it here, but let's get it for now. So, once you are done here, you can just go to the portal, or you can even go back in here, and there is a super chest right here. Well, it wasn't so super. Congratulations, you are now in Act 4. And I will actually save the game now. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.